Listen, I don't know when I became the unofficial Cemetery Boy stan account, but here we are. Love me for who I am because I cannot change. Bibliophiles of the internet, my name is Audrey, and today I'm here to officially recommend Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas as a participant in FiaCon 2020. In case you don't know, FiaCon is a virtual convention centering the perspectives and celebrating the contributions of BIPOC and SFF and speculative fiction, and as a booktuber guest, they asked me to recommend any book written by a BIPOC SFF author within the last year and it would have been disingenuous for me to say anything other than Cemetery Boys, though I did think about it briefly for like two seconds. I'm sure I don't need to pitch this book yet again, but I will for posterity's sake. Cemetery Boys is a brilliant own voices queer Latinx paranormal romance about Yadriel who wants to prove to his family that he deserves to be a brujo, but they won't let him go through the traditional rites of passage because they're convinced it won't work since he's trans. Determined to prove them wrong, Yadriel undergoes the ceremony by himself, and when he tries to test out his powers by summoning the spirit of his recently deceased primo, he accidentally summons Julian Diaz, who has absolutely no intention of quietly going into the afterlife, and fully intends on dragging Yadriel into his unfinished business. I chose Cemetery Boys because one of the criterion for this recommendation was to share a story that's representative of what we want to see more of in SFF. And for me, the short answer is I want to see more books like Cemetery Boys. I want to see more SFF stories where magic is deeply and intrinsically tied to culture, specifically Latinx culture, and I want to see more SFF with triumphant, joyous, trans Latinx heroes who get to have fun and get in trouble and go on incredible adventures. I want more SFF stories that celebrate found family and how much more we have to gain from protecting what we love and who we love rather than rejecting what is different from us. I want more SFF stories that feature deeply emotional relationships between the characters and that don't take themselves so seriously even though they may address and acknowledge real life hardships and hurts. I want more SFF that explores complex familial and cultural dynamics without having to become the entire story. I want more queer yearning and romance and joy. I want more SFF that challenges traditions and shows us another way of existing. I want more SFF stories where the character is not some kind of chosen one shackled to their own lonely fate, but someone surrounded by love who is still powerful within their own right. Cemetery Boys is all of those things and has all of those things, and as I've said before, getting to read it was truly the first time I got to see someone almost exactly like me in a book. I genuinely believe that everyone deserves a chance to see themselves reflected in the media they consume, and not just once, not just sometimes, not just in the background or as a footnote. So I can only hope Cemetery Boys is a precursor to so many more incredible stories still to come. I wholeheartedly recommend Cemetery Boys because it's fun, it's hopeful, and it uses fantasy and magic as a way to explore gender, family, culture, personhood, and love, which is exactly what I love to see in SFF books. I'm a firm believer that sometimes it's hard to understand what's truly possible until you see what is possible, and I know Yadriel's story is going to show so many queer and trans Latinx readers how brilliant their lives could truly be if they follow in his example and give themselves a chance. I know I've like talked this book to death, pun only slightly intended, but I feel like I'm just barely scratching the surface when it comes to expressing what it really means to me and what it's done for me, which is so much. But as I've said before, and will undoubtedly say again, I think everyone should read Cemetery Boys, and I highly recommend it. If you have any recommendations for SFF books written by BIPOC authors, I would love for you to drop those in the comments down below, or let me know what you look for in your SFF books. But that's everything I have for this recommendation today. Until next time, educate yourself, be kind to yourself, take care of yourself, and I will catch you on the flip side of the page.